what dawned on me today actually in the past week or so been thinking about it more and more the main problem I see with people today is their lack of understanding of uh, you know anybody and I say anybody not so much anything because it's easier to understand a thing than it is to understand a person meaning it's quicker for you to understand how something works in my case for me to figure out what's wrong with my truck or the solution of a problem I have at work or something along those lines and I'm sure it's the same for everyone else but to understand a person means you actually got to take time out of your day and figure out why they think the way they do which nobody likes to do they like to blame them for stupid acts or saying things or doing things and nobody takes the time to ask why and I've tried to make it my personal uh, quest taken from a video game there uh, figure out why things are the way they are why people do the things that they do not so much you know everybody I mean some people just live out the repetitive repetitiveness of their lives and they just keep going on and on moving forward not really thinking of anything else while others are a little bit more interesting serial killers you know they're always interesting um, not saying they do things but to understand how their mind works is always something interesting to uh, listen to read whatever you want to call that but I don't know as far as like I don't know presidency goes why someone would vote for somebody not vote for somebody why someone hates uh, different skin colors or anything along those lines it's why what is the point of hating another human and thinking that they're less or more deserving than you or someone you know that's the question in turn with uh, President Trump which I do say President Trump because he is the president of the United States like it or not question being there is why does so many people hate him so much besides saying oh he doesn't do this he doesn't do that I mean really in comparison to every other president that we've had at least that I can pay attention to so for the last like I don't know since Clinton which I really didn't even pay attention to the Clinton administration or the Bush administration I just started paying attention during the Obama administration and realized that you know nobody bitched this much and I'm trying to figure out why. Is because he's a smart ass? Because he doesn't say things right the first time he says them sometimes? You know? Because he cusses? Because he says what's on his mind? Because he's not a politician? Is what I've got from a lot of people. But I thought that we wanted to elect an American person. Yes, he's a millionaire, billionaire, whatever he is. He has a lot of fucking money. And that's something that I think should be in office. Uh, because politicians in actuality should not be rich like they shouldn't I don't know if anyone actually realizes this look it up and see how much they actually get paid um, I promise you it's not gonna be that much I mean more than me and you make yes but nowhere along nowhere near along the lines of millions of dollars uh, it's a couple hundred thousand maybe I mean the president gets a hundred thousand a year for the rest of his life which in fact Trump has waived because he has that he hates immigrants uh, illegal immigrants I'm sorry I was paraphrasing like so many other people do uh, he hates illegal immigrants people come to this country illegally which I don't see why nobody else you know seems to not like I don't I don't see how that can be something that people like is people coming over here yeah they want to make their lives better maybe take the legal channels to do such uh, yeah it might take a while but I'm telling you what try to cross the border into any other place and see how well you're you know welcome you go you cross over to Mexico I mean you're going to prison like you're just done there's no like oh yeah we don't think you're not illegal you're American speaking ass so and it's English not even American so I'm just saying either way maybe like look into that thing so what he has some people stay at his hotel that were uh, foreign ambassadors or whatever you want to say took their money so what they stayed at his hotel which is a nice hotel from what I'm told 
uh, just because he's president, it becomes shitty. I, I don't think that's how that works. But whatever. We'll move past Trump. You know, um, just into everyday life. Like, why is that person being such a dick right now? Well, maybe because their grandma just died or their dog died or fucking goldfish died. Someone died. Something died. Maybe their boss is being a dick today. Maybe they had to do some fucked up shit in the city. You never know why someone's in a bad mood. And the question is, instead of fucking being such a dick to them and just, you know, meeting it back with violence instead of trying to figure out why they are that way. As someone that wants to manipulate you 24-7 and try to make it seem like everyone else's fault and never their own, maybe be like, hey, dude, let's think a little bit here and get them to understand why they do the things that they do and maybe they can change it for the better. So many things that can be changed just by understanding. The way this country works can easily be under, can easily be changed if more people would understand, take the time to understand people and the things that they do and why they do them and how the things they are and how, I don't know, maybe the government, not just Trump, everyone in the government is quite possibly, factually, I, I can actually guarantee it, are lying to you about, I don't know, let's say 95% of the fucking time, like that's just a thing that they do, they fucking lie to you. And this race war bullshit, the MT motherfucker, I can't even remember the, the mask motherfuckers, which, if you notice, they're Democratic Party, which really doesn't make heads or tails, it doesn't really fucking matter at all. Either way, it's another group wearing masks because they're too afraid to show their fucking faces and stand up like, I don't know, a real adult, real person, someone has a job, you know, something to do. Show your face. KKK, same fucking way. You want to hide your face behind a mask? You're a pussy. So, just throwing that out there. Uh, maybe if people would quit believing what the news says and, like, look into shit themselves and they'd understand that almost everything that is told you is damn near lie, except for you flat earth motherfuckers. Fuck you guys. I mean, seriously. There's no logic behind it. And even if there was, what the fuck does it matter? Beyond the fact, oh, they've been lying to us. Well, no shit. That's what they do. They fucking lie. You think they make millions of dollars to tell the truth and actually fix the things that they say they're going to do? No. They make millions of dollars because they tell you they're going to do some shit and do the exact opposite. They want to keep us divided, keep us out of being unified in anything. Anytime one major event happens to where people start to unite and something else happens. Completely away from it, out of the whatever. I don't know, it could just be a coincidence that every time one thing happens and we start to band together, boom, something else happens. And it's just like a family that's fucking torn apart. The only time they get together is for fucking death. The only time the United States people band together for anything is when something terrible happens. And then at this point in time, it's only half of them that ain't even care. So I'm just saying maybe, you know, as an American, I believe that more people should understand and think about all the power that if they were to bind together with other Americans, that we could actually make changes. But nobody wants to do that because they all think, well, what's the fucking point? If it's, it's just me, what am I going to do? Well, one person can change a lot of things. Um, we need to focus on, like, the things that are, like, troubling our shores. Anything happens overseas, you know what? Not our fucking problem. Doesn't fucking matter. Well, you don't... That's not how it works. That is how it works. You focus on yourself. Are you going to fucking help your buddy out when you're homeless? No. You're going to try to figure out shit on your own. If you're homeless, you got to make shit happen. If you're jobless, you got to make shit happen. Your buddy should help you. And you, in turn, if it were to be flip-flopped, should help your buddy. If you have everything you need, help them. So on and so forth. Money is just a fucking object. Yeah, you fucking need it. Because they got rid of the barter system because it's a different way to control Americans. They're not even just Americans. It's just a way to control people. Money, religion, politics. It's all about controlling us. And the more people that are controlled, the more they get back. The more, you know, the more power that they have because we're not going to stand up. Because this generation and the last generation 
Eh, maybe not so much the last generation, but I don't know, since about the 90s, everyone's becoming a little bit more of a bitch. They're offended by everything, they're afraid of everything, and fear is one of those things that they rule your life with too. That's why when you turn on the news, some scary shit's on because you're like, oh my god, we need them. We need them for this war, or for that, or for this. No, we, we don't. We don't need to worry about any of that shit because it's not our fucking problem. We need to worry about, I don't know, working on our veterans, getting them some fuck good health care, working on ourselves, getting ourselves some good fucking health care, making sure our kids have fucking proper schools and shit, making sure the homeless can fucking find a home, a shelter, something decent to fucking stay at. And so there's not starving people here and we're sending food to a different country. I don't know why anyone has a like okays this and they're cool with it like oh my god they're starving kids in Africa really how does that affect you what about that those that family down the street who don't have anything no food their house burned down they're fucked now let's not keep sending shit to fucking Africa and then when a natural disaster happens in America when well, we've had two or three now they uh They, they just, they're like, oh my God, the government needs to step in and do their part. They're not doing enough. You, you realize that we lose trillions of dollars, billions, whatever, however the exact number is, I don't do the research to find out. So I'm not gonna try to act like I know, but I know it's a fuck lot, lot more money than my entire family's made their entire life. And I mean like generations of my family haven't came anywhere close to this number. So lots of fucking money, they want to, they're okay with shuttling out to other countries food medicine whatever natural disaster happens here they're like why can't why why can't we just help here well, why can't you get off your ass and you go help because you don't have the dough correct i'm pretty sure that's it we're in debt nine trillion dollars or whatever it is but we need to spend more and keep doing that shit they're going to keep taxing us because they keep sending shit to other countries. They're trying to make up for the shit the last person did. Well, you know what? You can't really give a president too much shit for his first four fucking years because he's trying to fix what the other cocksucker fucked up the last eight years. I'm just saying, maybe give people a fucking break and see what actually happens instead of sitting there talking shit 24 seven. For you people who quietly dislike somebody, that's cool, man. I'm totally fine with that. I understand. I fucking hated Hillary Clinton. I fucking hated Barack Obama. Hate, hate, hate. There's no hated. It's not past tense. I still dislike them by an extreme amount. I don't like any of them, and that's fine. And I make some posts on it. But I'll tell you what, it's not a 24-7 kind of thing. And for you people that sit there and go out in public and just sit there and badmouth and talk shit, it's like, fucking serious, man? How about you keep some of your views to yourself? Not, not Maybe not all of them, but like some shit you should just keep to yourself. Like, oh my God, look at that bitch. She's so fucking fat. Is the same to me as going, fuck President Trump. He's such a dumbass. He's an asshole. He's a racist. He's a bigot. He's this. He's that. It's like, wow. He's a Nazi. Okay, cool. So that's kind of harsh. All right, well, whatever. Just saying, maybe you should tone it down just a hair. Anyway, that's uh, my thoughts for today. I hope you guys have a great day. I gotta go put gas in this little car. Alright, bye-bye.